The siege of Alessandria stands as a testament to the strategic prowess and resilience exhibited by both besiegers and defenders during the tumultuous period of the Italian wars. This conflict, which unfolded between 1524 and 1525, was a pivotal moment in the struggle for dominance in the Italian peninsula, involving major European powers and leaving an indelible mark on the region's history. But before we dive in, I still encourage you to ever so gently pet the subscribe button just for good luck. Now back to the video. Alessandria, a strategically located fortress city in northern Italy, became a focal point of contention between the forces of the French monarchy and the Holy Roman Empire under the command of Emperor Charles V. The city's significance lay in its position along key trade routes and its formidable defences, making it a prized possession for any aspiring conqueror. The siege itself was a protracted affair, marked by the ebb and flow of military fortunes on both sides. The French, led by the valiant Marshal Odette de Foix, Vicomte de Lautrec, sought to wrest control of Alessandria from the imperial forces who were determined to hold on to their prize. What ensued was a clash of arms and wills as both sides marshaled their resources and ingenuity in a bid for victory. The defenders, though outnumbered and besieged, refused to capitulate easily. They utilized the city's formidable fortifications to repel wave after wave of assaults, inflicting heavy casualties on the besieging forces and buying precious time for reinforcements to arrive. Meanwhile, the besiegers employed a combination of siege engines, artillery bombardment and sapping techniques in their efforts to breach the city's defenses. As weeks turned into months, the situation grew increasingly desperate for both sides. Supplies dwindled, morale wavered, and the toll of constant warfare weighed heavily on the combatants. Yet, amidst the hardships and privations of siege warfare, acts of heroism and valour shone brightly on both sides. The turning point of the siege came with the arrival of imperial reinforcements under the command of the seasoned commander, Prospero Colonna. The timely arrival of fresh troops bolstered the morale of the besiegers and tipped the balance of power in their favour. Sensing the shifting winds of fortune, the French forces found themselves increasingly isolated and vulnerable. In the end, it was not through the force of arms, but through the art of diplomacy, that the siege was resolved. The Treaty of Madrid, signed in January 1526, brought an end to the hostilities, with the French agreeing to withdraw from Italy in exchange for concessions from the Holy Roman Empire. Alessandria remained under imperial control, its walls standing as a silent testament to the trials and tribulations of war. The Siege of Alessandria stands as a microcosm of the larger struggles that engulfed Italy during the Renaissance period. It epitomizes the blend of martial prowess, technological innovation, and political intrigue that characterized warfare in the age of the condottieri. More than just a footnote in history, it serves as a reminder of the human cost of conflict and the enduring legacy of those who endured the crucible of war. Thank you kindly for watching.